imagine sitting there, you want to be a wife, you want to be loyal. How can, how can you do that if you're practicing, you know, sucking fun dip every week? You're not practicing cooking, you're not practicing mental health, you're not practicing how to talk to him, how to cater, how to be submissive, and how to talk to him in a nurturing way. You're practicing sucking pee pee, that's not the same thing. But that's, what if that's not what you want? What if you don't want to be... I, I'm only speaking on women who uh. want to be wives. I'm not proposing to you. It's more of a will you marry me because we're not getting younger type of thing. And that's the reason. But why won't you marry me? What 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 are you? Escúchame bien, mujeres. Ladies, listen to me very well. If you are with a man and he doesn't talk about marriage, mama, um, I can give you a couple reasons why. So first and foremost, are you seeing what's going on in the world? Do you see how women beg for marriage and then when they get married, they don't put it down, they don't cook, they don't abide by the rules they're supposed to? And yes, I said rules. Men have things they're supposed to do to take care of you and women have duties to do. And a lot of you guys start slacking. You let yourself go. You don't want to do this. You don't want to do that. Relationships are discipline. Relationships are consistent work. And if you're going to be lazy, ponte trucha because it's going to be a bumpy ride. You're in this for the long haul. Another thing. A lot of y'all women will like to be with a guy and take them for everything that they have. Take the kids, take their last name, take everything that they worked for. Men are scared to get married. Men are terrified to get married. And then with you doing, why won't you marry me? I can tell you're controlling. I can tell you're pushy. I can tell you're rude as fuck. Just by watching this video, I can just tell what kind of girl you are. Because if a man tells you he's not ready, let it be. Instead of pushing him and forcing him with, babe, why aren't you going to marry me? Why aren't you going to this? Embody it. A lot of women will do the total opposite of what they're, what they're supposed to. Babe, come on, marry me. Babe, this, babe, that. And then you guys will post videos. One, you're humiliating him. Two, you're not respecting his boundaries. And three, you're pushy. What man's going to want that? What you should be doing instead? Every morning, head. Every morning, babe, I made you breakfast. Hey, babe, look, I ironed your clothes. And you're not just doing it because you want the ring. You're doing it because you love this man. You're doing it because you want more out of it. If you want to be a wife, show him that. And I know there's going to be a whole bunch of women in the comments. Oh, I'm not doing um girlfriend or wifely duties for a, uh, a man who's not going to marry me. Then why do you expect these men to take care of you and provide for you like your daddy? Mm, okay, crickets. Ya callate. I don't want to hear it. If you're going to try out for a basketball team, if I was going to try out for the Lakers, do you think I'm going to go, yeah, let me just half-ass it. They're going to pick me. You better dominate. You better dunk. You better be fucking throwing up layups like you're crazy. You better be flying through these motherfuckers. I'm being serious. It's the same thing when you guys want to get married. You got to put your best foot forward. What is up with everybody in this generation? Like y'all have gotten so lazy and lost the idea of love. Sorry, baby. If you're a hopeless romantic at heart, you know the duty you're supposed to be doing as a woman. Be his peace. Cook for him. Take care of his heart and soul. Don't put throw things in his face. Another thing that I've noticed a lot of you guys do, the pushiness and the, I need to get married, I need to get married. That scares a man even more. I don't know if you know this, but it's the same kind of concept, even though I'm not ever comparing a man to a dog. If you see a dog and it's running, are you going to sprint and chase it? No, that dog's going to do this and it's going to run. It's the same thing with men. You're pushing him into a corner where he doesn't feel comfortable. That is a grown ass man. Do you know the reason why men are the ones to propose and not us? Because y'all would get married in three months and then probably be divorced. You would want a man to be ready. You want a man to be the one, you know what? I've been planning this. I've been wanting her. She's my queen. You want a man devoted to you. You don't want to force a man to fucking want you. You don't want to force a man to marry you. Come on, ladies. Like, I know that a lot of us want to get married and, you know, you just want that love and all that. But at the same time, give it time. Stop letting social media fill your head up. There's a lot of women that have been together six years, seven years with a guy. and Oh, he hasn't married me yet. He hasn't this. He hasn't that. That's why he's not marrying you. Your mouth, tu boca, is not going to make a man marry you. And there's a lot of people where they haven't done things in their lifetime. Some of these men do want to marry you. They're just waiting to see certain things out of you. But instead of doing those things, you're antagonizing him. You're being pushy. You're not being understanding. Imagine you already having something planted in your mind, but your wife is weighing you down. Like I said, be a man's peace. You can even tell this man's irritated in the video. 
Like I said, I would I would not want to sit there and push a man into freaking marrying me. I would much rather one day be surprised and be like, damn, he's marrying me. That seems like a better satisfaction than forcing this guy to marry me. But like I said, ladies, you do whatever you want with this information. I'm just here to help you guys. I pray to God that you understand this is coming from a place of love. Like I suggest you just embody what it's like to be a, a wife. And from me, uh, seeing a lot of women in my family who are married, who are in love. I came from a family of like wives, you guys. I know a lot of you guys have not seen stuff like that. And maybe you didn't see your mom cooking and cleaning. Maybe you didn't see people loving each other. My grandma and grandpa didn't really argue. My grandma gave my grandpa a safe space to communicate and she wasn't pushy. So that's why I say this is where I get all of my tactics and all of my mindset from my idol, my grandma. You ain't got to listen to me. But like I said, if you want a man to marry you, you're going to do everything you can to make him marry you. And I know a lot of women are going to say this. And I just want to clarify this. The whole I'm not a wife. I'm not going to do wifely duties. Cool. The reason why I don't give a fuck about that concept is because when I leave that person and we're not together anymore, I'm not a girl who, oh, I miss my ex. I love my ex anymore. Do you know why? Because I did everything I could in my power to take care of the person while I was with them. So if it didn't work out. He didn't feel me. I didn't feel him. Whatever. I did what I could at the time because that's the love I thought they deserved. That's what we're put on this earth for. To love one another. What's the point of getting with somebody and going half-ass? What's the point of that? You want this man to put his best foot forward. Provide. Be there for you. Be Bob the Builder. Be your therapist. Be your king. Be all this. But then you guys want to put your foot barely in the water. No. Backflip in that mussucka. Front flip in there. Dive head first. Come on now, you guys. Why are you going to be with somebody where you can't risk things for them? Put your guard down. Put your ego down. You want to marry this man, right? That's what you're saying because you're trying to force it out of him. Then ponte trucha. Put it down. Be sweeter. Rub his head. When he comes home, take his coat off. Have his favorite meal ready. Have a bath running for him. Pamper that man. Show him why you want to get married. Prove to him why you deserve the ring, baby. Like I said, you ain't got to listen to me, baby. Do what you got to do, lovely ladies. But just try your best to understand where your man's coming from. Men are scared in this generation, ladies. We see all these things on social media of women taking men for everything they got. Women stop loving their men. Women stop putting their best foot forward. We see it every day. And you got to understand this. Not a lot of men, just like a lot of women, they don't have good families to look up to. They probably haven't even seen a good relationship play out. So they are terrified. To put their life on a line for somebody who will take everything from them. Put yourself in a man's perspective. Understand their mental health matters. And just because they don't say it. Because nobody cares about their feelings. They still think about getting hurt. They still worry about getting cheated on. So if you want to love that man and embody being a queen. Do those things I told you. I promise you it works. God bless you queens.